In early August 2022, Chloe, my dog, and I got on an airplane and flew ourselves to France. We stayed in a little Airbnb in Agen, and I was joined by my friend Wendy, who wanted to be there for the, the beginning. We did some fun things in Agen, like go to the art museum <clears throat> and buy lots of things for the house, um, bedding and tools and whatnot. We, uh, we had a lot of fun doing bro going broke hunting. I found this amazing chez and wound up spending way too much money on it, but it was worth it. Uh, we went to several different brocantes and antique stores and uh, had a little too much fun, spent a lot of money. Um, but we also uh, went to lots of different restaurants and experienced France and all its incredible, incredible delicacies. We met up with some uh, friends that I had met in France, and then we made a fun sort of excursion to uh, the house one day. It was before we closed, so we kind of snuck in, and this was really the first drive up the driveway since I had seen the, since I had seen the house back in May. And that is really the first view of the house off in the distance. Um, so it was pretty exciting doing this drive. It was a lot longer than I realized. It's almost a kilometer from the road. Um, so we, um, we drove up and <laughs> we got to the gate, which was closed, but it was only locked with a, a twisted piece of wire. So <laughs> we kind of broke in and uh, had a little walk around the property. The bell. The bell. The doorbell. Oh. It's breaking and entering. out through here and all of that gets filled with the pond. Oh wow. And there's another pond up here. On August 12th, 2022, I actually signed to buy Chateau de Bory and got the keys. We arrived and uh, opened the door for the first time. It was pretty exciting. Of course, we had to have some champagne. A little Vouv, a little chateau. <laughs> Here you go. I was so glad to have my friend Wendy there to help celebrate with me because um, it would have been a kind of lonely celebration otherwise. <laughs> anyway, it was really great having her there. So the next day, the fun started. Okay, so this is day one. We are here. We got here this morning and um, we had three separate deliveries of furniture and mattresses. So show you what we have. Here's my view. I'm already anticipating cutting some of those weed treats down so that I can get a better view. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I'll show the furniture. This is one of the many doors. Oh, there's Chloe. <laughs> All right. 
So there's the chaise that I splurged on. That was my splurge. I got two sort of comfy chairs. I got these kind of, they're like um, crocheted bed covers, I guess. Um, <laughs> and then I got this kind of outrageous red velvet entire set of furniture, which is kind of cool. Um, we got these three little occasional tables. Um, this one was really pretty. It was all inlaid and uh, little drawers. And um, yeah, just kind of useful little tables. And then in here, it's like 40 degrees today, so I'm just melting. So we have all the shutters closed just to try and keep it cool. I bought this mirror. I just have to put it here. Bye. And I'm excited about this secretaire. So I am going to be having to work from, from France. So voila. And it's all like that. It's really cool world kind of thing. The drawers. So I'm excited about that. It's so pretty. I imagine myself as... Marie Antoinette writing with my quill and pen. And uh, in here we've got Wendy washing floors. <laughs> oh, sweeping floors, sweeping patios. Say hi, Wendy. <laughs> hi. <laughs> oh, we got this buffet, which uh, I think this is going to be the dining room. So it seems to make sense to have them put it here. The colors are just amazingly hideous in here. So this will be one room that gets painted. Well, they're all gonna get painted eventually. This one actually has a rosette for a chandelier, as does this one. But strangely, the big salon has none, and it needs two, <laughs> at least. So this room is all just a sconces, but of course they've ripped all the sconces off the walls. So I'm gonna have to come up with those. It's gonna be a really dark room until that happens. <clears throat> and then there's the main entry and the stairs. And this is becoming our storeroom because it's really close off the, where we parked the car. <laughs> but this is the room with the, um, the mosaic tile. And that's a door to the basement. And in the kitchen, I just pulled off the whole metal weird thing that was, I guess, surrounding the oven. And we wound up having to keep, keep this. I was gonna try and move it. It's actually not a bad piece now that I look at it more carefully. Um, I don't think the top is original to it, but the piece itself is really quite pretty. So, you know what, I may just leave it there, at least for now. Um, so yeah, this room needs some serious cleaning up. Um, we have a sink, doorway out. I think uh, when the fridge comes, it's gonna go here. And then I think I'm gonna tear out this thing eventually. It's sort of like a hood, I think, back up in here. Um, I discovered that they heated their stove with basically tanks that sit outside because it's propane or butane or something. Um, so, and then the hideous paint drop, the door frames. <clears throat> and then we got this table and chairs as well because we needed somewhere to sit. <laughs> so this is this sort of other weird kitchen. Um, and Wendy's just cleaned these floors so they look a lot better than they did. They're still, neither floors, neither the, the floors are all that interesting. Um, it's got this weird kitchen. I think they used this as sort of like the breakfast room in the Airbnb, or the B&B that they had. And then we've got the garden. So that's pretty much the first floor. Oh, we've got some outdoor furniture, so you can sit outside when it's not 9,000 degrees. Um, and then a whole bunch of dead topiaries, which I guess I just leave for a year and hope they come back. I hope I get them sprayed for next year. So we'll see, we'll see, I guess. 
Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cleaning. A lot of cleaning. All right, that's it for now.
first couple of days, I took this uh, footage of one of the cave rooms, just kind of pondering uh, what I had. This particular room is super wet on the floor because the spring kind of drains right into it. Um, so I had never really been in it, but um, it has two floors and there was originally a stairway there. Um, I was told ultimately by the neighbor that it housed at one point their horse <laughs> and the hay was above. So um, then I just kind of wandered around the garden and sort of just took in what was there and looked at the trees and looked up at the building kind of amazed that this was somehow now mine. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a really strange feeling um, to suddenly be a part of what feels like history and um, there's a certain amount of responsibility that comes with it and you want to do the best you can for a place that um, has stood so much longer than you have. So um, all this to say I'm, uh, I'm excited for what's to come and um, I don't know if I'm any good at making YouTube videos. It's a whole new, <laughs> it's a whole new realm for me, but here I am. Um, and so with this, I guess I leave you with a bit of the view and uh, I hope you'll subscribe. Hopefully I'll make some more videos and uh, I'm on my way back soon. Thanks again.